In recent years, voter turnout among young adults has been historically low. But this midterm election early voting data suggests a surge in young and first-time voters. Our Madeline O'Neill shares the uncommon story of one area voter's first time at the polls. Today is a big day for voters across the country, but for one Wanakee resident who will be casting his ballot here today, it's even more special. It's a special day in general, but it's really special for me. It's a right we're all born with. It's freedom of expression. When it comes to voting, Wanakee High School senior and football player Paul Lorge was born into the thick of it. When I was born, that was the, uh, I believe, Al Gore and George Bush election day. And that was really cool. His dad, Bill Lorge, is a former Wisconsin legislator. And throughout the years, Election Day often fell on Paul's birthday. I remember when I was a little kid, my dad would go to the polling place and I would go with him. And it would always just be really cool seeing him vote. This year's birthday. That's very uncommon. Couldn't fall on a better day. Coincidentally, I turned 18 on Election Day. Born just one day later than November 6th, 2000, and Paul wouldn't be voting in this election. That's like the weird thing about this. But with his well-timed birthday, tonight after hitting the football field, I'm gonna vote today. Paul will be heading to his polling station. There's many things you can do when you turn 18 and a really big one is you're able to vote. As one of the youngest possible people able to vote today, he hopes other young adults will hit the polls too. And that's a really big thing because you can elect officials and you're just contributing to society. It's really significant in our culture. Paul's dad, Bill, says Paul is the most politically minded of his children, which only makes sense given his birthday. Reporting in Wanakee, Madeline O'Neill, WISC News 3. In Wisconsin, you have to be 18 to even register to vote, so Paul, take care of that at the polls tonight.